Uh, review, but Claw we're up to 76. I feel it's a pretty... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm more, I mean, I, mm, I, I feel kind of perplexed by it. Not super into his backstory. I think some of the backstories in Black Clover are amazingly well done in, in like the one episode. Like they're very short. They kind of really get to the point. They really like punch you with the storyline, which of course is what Black Clover is known for, and it's very, very like you know focused in, in condensed and definitely using tropes though. Same like Black Clover, all right, uh, but in a good way. Then like instead of telling you for twenty chapters, we can do it in two chapters, right? Because you kind of know what we're talking about. Evil mom, yeah, evil dad. Yeah, you get the point. It's, it's kind of like that, right? In Black Clover. So the times and it works really well most of the time but here i felt his backstory really was pretty like ah uh, he can't draw a painting and his mom hates him but not really like his mom's you know his mom didn't hate him as some other mother does in anime <laughs> yeah his mother was more like he ha she hates him because he's currently like blowing up her castle right and hurting all the like people around him so it's more like uh, i can see what her he, uh, yeah what she's angry for so like it didn't stop, basically, yes, she's hating him at that moment, right? But the backstory didn't tell us anything, because I guess she didn't, um, that she would hate him before that, right? The backstory didn't do anything about, like, oh, mom hated me, that's why I couldn't draw paint or something, yeah. That wasn't the story, right? Like, he couldn't draw stuff, then he started blowing up stuff, then his mom hated him, right? So I assume she was a good mother to him. Until he started being a horrible kid, right? And then she hated him. So, you see what I mean, right? It's a massive difference. Yes. She still, it's like, I wish she were never born, but still, though, right? That's after he has been a really, really bad kid with his power. So, it's like, you know, it's not, it's, not, it's not the typical evil mom that's like, you know, really, really bad to the kid, right? And then the kid goes crazy. And, you know, like, yeah. It's, it's the other world, right? So, that wasn't very important, I feel. And, uh, I he didn't really explain why he why he was like you know oh I can't draw my art thing except that just as Buster said oh it's too limiting for you drawing on a canvas drawing on one canvas right it's too limiting you can't just draw here you have to draw out in the 3D world you have to throw in the in the battle so on you have to do that thing so it was kind of like that where um, it was like generally okay he 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 did art but even if he was a great painter it was too easy for him to do amazing painting I guess. So the battle's like, well, go out and fight with the painting ability instead. Then you can, you know, really paint something. And of course, his battle is kind of, kind of paints a canvas on the ground right when it fights. So um, I guess, yeah, I feel it was probably the weakest backstory in the whole anime, honestly, in my opinion. Yeah, like, I guess it's just a captain guy, not really super important for the main story and so on. But yeah, felt, it felt very much whatever his backstory. Maybe it's a filler, I don't even know. Maybe it's a filler. Uh, but it, it felt really whatever. Um, Definitely. And also didn't really motivate how he's a captain. I think that would be way interesting to see. Why is he a captain for? Because okay, I guess he can like create any element. It's like, oh red paint, fire magic, yeah, blue paint, ice magic or water right, yeah, and so on. And like I guess green magic green paint would be like, you know, you know, plants and so on, as magic can do, etc. But it still seems somewhat limited, unless he has to like if he really draws a painting or something, that creates it because now he just threw like a fireball, right? Red fireball, yeah. But can he like do other fights, but like fire healing? You see earlier, people can heal with fire magic. Can he do that? If he like draws like a fire circle around someone or, you know, is that healing? Or is the only, 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 you know, attack magic? So, I don't know. Seems so limited. But the real issue with him, I would say, even though he can fight his own elements, is that he's horribly, uh, he'd be a horrible fighter, right? Not that it's a trap team, but generally more like an complete oblivious noob, right? It's like, oh, yeah, so strong, guys, right? fun, yeah, painting, yeah, it's kind of that, right? And he has no understanding of what happening around him, so I, uh, his squad is the, is the lowest rank squad, right? He's going to be a horrible captain, completely, kind of, whatever, and his, uh, yeah, but I guess his fighting style seems to be, yeah, I think it seems to be really weak. Yes, he can do any element, but whatever, right? He He's really weak, right? He can't do strategies, he can't, like, avoid stuff. His physical body looks incredibly weak. Uh, it's like one Asta punch, like one Asta cut, and he's gonna lose, right? It feels like he, anyone could one punch on him, yeah. That's kind of a cloth at least. Um, but whatever. I think he's supposed to be kind of the yoke captain, right? He obviously is not gonna, gonna win this tournament. Uh, so that that alone, right? He's probably gonna lose the tournament next next battle, probably. 
Uh, that speaks volumes of feel. Like the other captains are a little more serious for storyline. Yami, Vang and so on, they're a little more like important for the storyline as well, right? Um, he's kind of like this jokingly young kid as a captain. But still, though, how did he become a captain then? It seems that because his squad is so bad that they let him be a captain. But Yami's captain, yeah, but Yami's more like negatively bad. Yami's more like the deranged captain, right? With all the, you know, misfits, right? He's more like the, yeah, exactly. The Black Claw, uh, the black Bulls were the misfits, right? Yami is a strong captain with all like, the, the crazy kids, right? But he's more like the weak captain with like the, you know, oh, these people are just weak. Yeah, they, they are like potentially strong. They're just like, you know, weak, right? They're just like physically weak. That's how his uh, squad comes off as. So I guess he's supposed to be pretty weak. But anyway, um, the episode is good. I think it was pretty good. The battle was good for them. We're gonna see next week then we're gonna have Luck and the Klaus fighting with one of the other ladies from you know the yeah <laughs> in the wings of that. She's pretty copied actually. And then in the last frame there, I'm happy that you saw Noel crying in the last frame. It's like Child Noel, and I think her brother probably steals her, you know, like takes her teddy bears and that. So I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. it's time, it's finally gonna be time right? after Klaus um, probably wins easily, right? Sampa gonna be Sampa gonna stay the Sampa status. Then we're finally going to see Noel, right? Look forward to that a lot next week. Um, but also, I like that I said that too. I like that you like, if you lose, Klaus, I won't call you Senpai anymore. I have to win now. It's like, I, I can't become non Senpai. I got to keep it winning, yeah. But they're obviously going to win, right? The three named characters, which is like no named characters. And then they finally going to have a real battle, right? With Noel fighting her named brothers, which is actually going to be. Uh, but I think she's going to win, though. I think so for sure. Also with you, though, yeah. This is definitely going to win. And it's gonna be finally some revenge right for her evil brother, so that's gonna be so sweet. But it probably won't finish next week though. It probably will start next week, right? And finish week after that. Anyway, uh hope you like the review guys, subscribe right, like right, like and so on. See you guys later today with the final episode of both Kanguri and the final of Round of the Wind, which I'm really looking forward to. Kanguri, I mean yeah, yeah uh, that, that I don't know, I think it's gonna end this episode if it's like it's gonna be the last episode, but I feel it's clear that the storyline is gonna keep going, I feel, so whatever. Round of the Wind is gonna be like amazing, it's actually gonna be the like conclusive ending of the whole storyline. It really is the last episode, the last chapter, so I look forward to that lost coming out in seven hours from now. So anyway, see you guys and have